image view. Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about image view in this video. So image view is an Android component to guess what? Display images. Now you know that showing images is really important for your Android application. And if you use good photos, good graphics and all that, your design is going to look great. And because of all this, image view is important to master. So let's get to Android Studio and learn image view and practice. Okay, so you know that we have this project from before and we'll continue to work on it. So I will add an image view in this project. So where do we find image view? It's inside the palette window under the widgets on the left side of Android Studio. And I will drag image view and drop it in the linear layout. Now, first I'm going to rearrange this so that I put it as first component. Now this is a linear layout and its orientation is vertical. Now because of this, all the components will get their place from up to down, top to bottom, right? So when I drop image view, a new window opens. And this window is the resources window. And what I'll do here is choose a picture for the image view. And I'm just going to choose a picture that's inside my project that I had before. And I'll click OK. So now I can see this picture on the phone, but see there's a problem. Um, because I cannot see the other components. Um, and the reason is the sizes of image view are match parent and wrap content. So the size of my image is too big. And then when image view uses the wrap content for height, the image covered all of the screen from top to bottom. So I will change the layout height and width to 300. And now you can see all the components. So image view is now in the center of the screen horizontally. Now because I chose layout gravity center horizontal for my linear layout in the last video, um, all the components are placed in the center of the screen horizontally. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that the image is placed inside the center of image view. So if you want your image to cover all of image view, you should just choose the size of the image exactly the same size uh, for image view, right? So for example, if, you're, if the size of image view is 300 by 300, then the size of your image should also be 300 by 300, or vice versa. But also, we can do some arrangements within image view. So when I click on this button, some attributes will open, and I will go to the scale type. Okay, and we'll choose from here. Um, we've got a few options. So if I choose fit start image, will take place uh, at the start position. And if I choose fit center, the image will be seen in the center. And if I choose fit end, guess what? It'll take its place from the end position. Now, if I choose fit XY, image will cover all of image view. But the image will be enlarged and mm, it doesn't necessarily look good. So because of this, fit center is a good option. However, of course, it's up to you as the designer of your application. Alrighty then, so these are the things that we can do on the design page. We can also do something on the Java side using Java code. But before we go to Java side, I, uh, I need to give this image view an ID, right? So let's give the image view example as an ID. And now let's go to the Java code side. So what can we do here? 
Uh, well, let's say, for example, when I click on the OK button, the image in image view will change, right? So then we'll see another image inside image view. So how do we do this? Well, first, I'll need to decide and define this image view on the Java side. And I will write the image view image. I'll give it a name such as image. And you can give a name, whatever you want. Um, and now I'll need to define its ID inside the onCreate method. And I'll write image equals find view by ID. And inside the parenthesis, r.id.image example. I can do every operation on the image view using image word. And I will write operation codes inside the OK button. Click listener method. And let me just delete these codes that I wrote before. Now I'll write image dot set image resource. But before we continue, I'll need to do one more thing. You know what that is? I'll need to add a second image in my project. That's right. So I will right click to my drawable folder on the left side of Android Studio and choose Show and Explore. Drawable folder opens, and inside the drawable folder, I have one picture, and its name is A. So I will add a new image to this folder and call it B. And now when I close this folder, I can see my picture B in my project. So now I can call this image. And I'll write inside the parentheses r.drawable.b. All right, everything's OK now. So when I click the OK button, the image will change to image B. Good. So let's run it and see if it's working or not. Application opens. When I click OK, image changes. So you see how you can uh, do a lot of operations like this, but I think it's enough for this video. Play around with that, and I will see you in the next one.